The introduction of the white hybrids in the Alien franchise has certainly piqued the interest of fans. These new xenomorphs, while terrifying in their own right, were created in a manner that might seem a tad predictable. The xenomorphs are no strangers to genetic adaptation, with their DNA reflex playing a major role in shaping their appearance. We've seen how traits from host species get inherited by xenomorph queens and subsequently affect the entire brood. For example, the usually seen xenomorph design owes much of its appearance to its human host and creatures like the Predalien are distinct from the run-of-the-mill xenomorphs due to their unique predator origins. The white hybrid xenomorphs of LV-695 continue this tradition. The origin of the white hybrid xenomorphs are explained in the one-shot silent comic titled Aliens Annual No. 1. The comic also explains why exactly these new xenomorphs are actually hostile towards their regular cousins. So without wasting any more time, let's explore this breed of xenomorphs that kill the normal xenomorphs like butchers. Aliens Annual 2023 Number 1 The comic begins in the year 2156, with the space vessel crash landing on the icy moon called LV-695, the same moon where Batya Zan and her family would come many years later to research. The planet was inhabited by insectoid quadrupedal creatures that look like a cross between lizards and four-legged spiders. If at all there is such a thing, the spaceship created a large explosion which attracted the attention of the indigenous creatures. They quickly flocked to the crash site to investigate what had happened, but most of them were unaware that the vessel housed the most skilled and ruthless killing machine that nature had to offer. Several avomorphs found themselves in the ice, and just as the local creatures came into the vicinity of the avomorphs, the face huggers got triggered and emerged from the avomorphs, but the faces of the insectoid creatures were too huge for face huggers to attach themselves and deliver the stuffed bleeds to the gestation of a chest burster. They could easily repel the face huggers, which I believe pissed off the face huggers because they were not able to do the only thing they were born to do, like they had one job force a kiss upon a creature from another species, and they were failing at that too. It must be a matter of extreme shame in the facehugger community. Anyway, in defense of the facehuggers, I would like to say that the icy denizens of LV-695 were extremely huge, so much so that full-grown xenomorph drones were but a fraction of the size of the white insectoid beasts. However, facehuggers are pretty dedicated to what they do, so in a bid to impregnate the icy insectoids, the facehuggers chose to get devoured, which effectively delivered the substance that would lead to the gestation of a chest burster. Eventually, one of the LV-695 local guys had their chest bursted, and out came a relatively large chest burster. It wasn't long before that more chest bursters started to appear. These chest bursters went on to become the white hybrid xenomorphs and started to massacre their black counterparts. This was reminiscent of the Aliens genocide comic in which we had a civil war between red and black variants of the xenomorphs. Anyway, one of the white hybrids killed the original xenomorph queen and took her place as the producer of eggs. What happened to the white hybrids in Alien Thaw? In Alien Thaw, set in year 2190, water has become a precious resource essential for space colonization. Large corporations dispatch scientists on missions to seek out water-rich planets, and Batya Zan, the chief scientist of Talbot Engineering Incorporated, is on one such mission with her family on the icy moon of LV-695. Her daughter, Zasha, actively participates in the research. The story takes an unexpected turn when Zasha accidentally damages her ice pick, punctured a frozen face hugger buried beneath LV-695 surface. The acidic blood of the creature begins to corrode the tool, prompting Zasha to report the incident to her mother. Batya Zan decides to retrieve the sample for further study, setting off a chain of events that spirals into chaos. The white xenomorph later emerges from a human host and exhibits distinct physical characteristics, including spikes running along its body and a scaly hide. Its tail is particularly noteworthy, featuring razor-sharp spikes to conserve both as a defensive weapon and for slashing attacks. As the story unfolds, it is revealed that Zasha's father is actually a synthetic hired by Batya Zan for the mission. Following the destruction of the base, he takes Zasha to an aircraft, but they are ambushed by a horde of xenomorphs. The white xenomorph unexpectedly becomes Zasha's protector, engaging in ruthless combat with the black xenomorphs. This unique xenomorph variant showcases the same deadly abilities as its darker counterparts, making it a formidable adversary within the alien universe. The white xenomorph's role in the story draws parallels to the T-Rex and Jurassic Park and Jurassic World films, where it inadvertently saves the protagonists from other formidable creatures. The white xenomorph's portrayal and its role on the narrative provide a fresh perspective within the Alien franchise, inviting readers to ponder its significance. Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm genuinely interested in hearing your take on it.
Marvelous Verdict, Alien Annual 2023 number 1 delivers a unique and chaotic punch in the name of the story, but one has to agree that the premise is fairly interesting. This annual installment is clearly different from the franchise's typical human-focused storytelling as it immerses readers in a world dominated entirely by various alien races and species. The absence of humans transforms the comic into a silent visual experience, emphasizing the physicality of the story as xenomorphs assert their dominance over yet another planet. The passage of time is skillfully depicted showing the different phases in the xenomorph's life cycle. Despite facing formidable adversaries, the xenomorphs have a diverse arsenal that allows them to adapt and conquer, no matter the odds. However, the introduction of a new race in the previous Alien series adds an element of potential threat to their supremacy. What makes the annual truly compelling is its constant escalation of circumstances maintaining dynamic and engaging visuals. The absence of dialogue results in a brisk pace, yet the storytelling remains impeccable, rendering words unnecessary. The conclusion leaves room for the ongoing expansion of this intriguing universe. Establishing character depth in a bestial cast proves challenging, but much like a nature documentary, it is somewhat achievable. The concept of a hierarchical power structure is established early on and serves as the foundation for Alien Annual 2023 number 1. While traditional personalities are absent, dominant figures still exist, each becoming the alpha until usurped by another. Communication among the creatures is limited to hisses, reinforcing the silent yet compelling nature of this story. If you like the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!